For any other detective, these past few years should have been the easiest in their life. Eleven years ago, the government threw down prohibition on the country. Cushy government contracts were everywhere for anyone with investigative talents. But my last few jobs ran sour, and the city commissioner wanted to blacklist me if I wasted any more of his time. A hundred reports of possible smuggling, bootlegging, speakeasies, you name it. Everyone knew there were flickers everywhere, but it was like a lottery ticket. I had to find just the right one to get back on my feet. Some noise reports on a local TV news station called ACMI caught my eye. It'd be the headline of the century if government approved news stations were bootlegging films right under the nose of the town. Even if it was a long shot, there was a certain alert to it. If there was any way to fish my career out of the hole I dug it into, it was this. As they always say, fortune favors the bold. In an audacious raid earlier this afternoon, federal agents caught and smashed the films. Now we'll be right back, after this. Alright, that's a wrap. Now let's get these films in here, let's go. They weren't too happy with that blunder, but I already had seen too much. If they really were a chapter of the Mafia, they had to be getting their supply from somewhere. And they had to be selling it to Flickers somewhere in secret. It was time for a good old stakeout. Come on! Let's get a move on! We got 20 more cases to get through! Pick up the pace! They weren't gonna flaunt forbidden films at their front door, so I was waiting in the back lot. I'd hit the jackpot and I knew it. All I had to do was scratch off the last box on the lotto ticket, catching the flickers in the act. For that, I need to come back later that night. Any detective worth his salt has a hat full of tricks to pull from. Sometimes you need a hammer's approach. Other times, a screwdriver did the job. Welcome, welcome. One of these every week. Don't look so excited. Hey, you want some movies? Yeah, sure. You got anything, anything new? Yeah, right here. Brand new. Oh. Looks different. Yeah, this is 480p. Wow, it's incredible. Is it? No. Don't go down those stairs! Ah! Wow, I didn't know there was this much film in the whole world. Let alone this one place. Gatsby? Oz? Are those even words? What's the matter? You never seen so much film before? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You don't look too swell. You darn flicker, at least you got everything together up here. Yes. Give me the commissioner. Hello, Mr. Harbeck. Did you get my report in the mail? Yeah, I just got it. This better not be another waste of my time. What do you mean, bootlegging? We've been financing them for years. How could this possibly have happened? You gotta be pulling my leg here. 
It's the perfect cover. Do you think any of your boys in blue are going to do an inspection of a news station? Of course I do. What do you think I paid them for? If you want to get the largest haul of illegal films this decade has seen, give me a handful of officers Thursday night. You'll wake up the next morning and the streets will be running with tape. Great Scott! I'm starting to believe him. It, if there really is a deposit that size underneath ACMI, I can only imagine the damage has already been done to the minds of our citizens. It's... it's unthinkable. I can't let their minds be spoiled by this filth. They'd rob every bank in town after watching Bonnie and Clyde. Can, can you even imagine what they do after watching Singing in the Rain and... 1984? That wasn't even a good year! We have to protect them from themselves. You've got me convinced. I'll give you two good men Friday night. Don't disappoint me. Get the phone, would you? I have a warrant for the investigation of this establishment for the transport of illegal fictional media as well as its distribution. Uh, hold on one second, please. Jimmy! Get the manager! Our manager will be right with you. I apologize for the wait. Quickly! Hide everything! The police are here! I think we're done for today. And you, darn flickers, I'll be back for you. It made headlines all right, and I was back in business after that. Praise showered in from up top on how I had saved the minds of the town. I retired with a good pension and was famous for shutting down those disgusting flickers. Are they gone yet? Uh, I think so. Thank God. All right, back to work, boys. <laughs> 